The HyperX Alloy FPS Pro is a really cool 10 keyless compact mechanical keyboard. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get it to work on your PlayStation 4 by updating the firmware to one that is compatible with the PlayStation 4. And if this video helps you out with getting your HyperX keyboard to work on your PlayStation 4, I would really appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel because that would really help me out. All right, so let's get right into it. Okay, so before we get started, I'm going to show you the actual problem when you just buy the HyperX keyboard and you plug it in straight to the PlayStation 4. Let's see what happens when you plug in your new HyperX keyboard that you just received. So when you do plug in your keyboard, you're going to see a notification in your PS4 that a keyboard has been connected. Go ahead and press X. All right, so you're trying out your keyboard with Fortnite. It's very important that when you get to this screen in Fortnite where you're getting ready to play, make sure you see a keyboard and mouse here. If you see a joystick, what you're going to want to do is move your joystick or keyboard around and you'll see it's going to switch to keyboard and mouse. Otherwise, once you're in game, you can't switch to keyboard and mouse. So now that we see keyboard and mouse here, we're going to go ahead and select play. All right, so as you can see here, I can move around with the mouse just fine. But when I try using the keyboard to jump or move forward and back, it just doesn't work. So if you're having this problem, I'm going to show you in this video how to fix this. By the way, if you're looking for the best mouse to use for PlayStation 4, this is it right here. This is the one I've been using and I've had zero issues with this mouse. Unlike other mice that stop working in the middle of the game. This Logitech mouse has worked great for me and I'll leave a link to this mouse down in the description below if you're interested in getting this mouse. All right, so the very first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and plug in the USB cable onto your PC. Now you're going to need a PC to update the firmware. You cannot use a Mac or Linux. So somehow get on a PC so you can run this firmware updater. You're only going to have to do it once, so you can do it at a friend's house and so on. So if you're like me and have your PC and PlayStation 4 on the same desk, I definitely recommend getting a USB keyboard and mouse switcher such as this one here. I'm going to put a link down to it below. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug in my keyboard to this. And the USB keyboard and mouse switcher comes with a button you see here that you can press to switch back and forth between your PC and PlayStation 4. That way you don't have to disconnect and reconnect your keyboard and mouse from your PC to your PlayStation 4. You can just press this button and you're good to go. So yeah, I definitely recommend picking up this USB switch. So as you can see here, I'm switching back and forth between the PC and PlayStation 4 just with a hit of a button. And you can connect up to four USB devices. All right, so let's get right into fixing your HyperX Alloy FPS Pro to work with the PlayStation 4. All right, so in order to get your HyperX Alloy FPS Pro keyboard to work on the PlayStation 4, you're going to have to run the firmware updater to update your firmware to one that is compatible with the PlayStation 4 for your keyboard. So I'm going to show you step by step what you need to do. Make sure you don't skip any steps at all because if you skip a step, it may cause problems with your keyboard. So the first thing you want to do is go down to the description of this keyboard and click on show more. Scroll all the way down to you see firmware updater instructions and you're going to want to follow these steps. Make sure you follow step one first, step two, and then step three. The first step is very important because I'm going to leave a link to the exact model of this keyboard. You're going to want to compare your keyboard to make sure it looks exactly the same as it does on that website and to make sure that the model name of that keyboard matches yours. The reason being is that each firmware is model specific. If you install a firmware for a different keyboard on your keyboard, it may cause problems with your keyboard. All right, so after you've done that, you're going to want to go to step two and we're going to go ahead and download the firmware updater for your specific HyperX keyboard. And on this tab, I went ahead and clicked on that link and you're going to want to go ahead and click the download. If you don't see this download button here, you can click download from this icon here in the top right. Otherwise, you can go ahead and click on the download button. Go ahead and click on save and go ahead and click open. Now this is a compressed zip file. So if you're running Windows 10, you should be able to just click on extract up here and click on extract all. Go ahead and just click extract. And now you should see the firmware updater executable file with this red little icon. Go ahead and double click on this executable and this is going to show you your current firmware version and the new firmware that it's going to update to. Now pay attention because this is very important. If you have the HyperX Ingenuity software installed and it detects that there's a newer firmware version for your keyboard after you install this firmware version, make sure you don't install it. You're going to want to stay on version 2 and 1, 2 so that your keyboard works with the PlayStation 4. We're going to click on the update button. It's very important that you don't disconnect your keyboard for any reason during this firmware update process. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the update button now. You'll get this little dialog box that says new version available, update. Go ahead and click on yes. And you're going to see a progress meter. Again, important, do not unplug the keyboard while this is going. 
you will see your keyboard blink momentarily. Once the firmware update process has been completed, you will get a message here saying your device has been successfully updated. Go ahead and click OK. And you can go ahead and close the firmware updater window. Okay, now we're gonna hop on back on the PlayStation 4. I'm gonna show you how you can test your keyboard to make sure it's working now on PlayStation 4 after this firmware update. All right, now that we're back on the PlayStation 4, you're gonna wanna test out your keyboard with a game that supports keyboard and mouse. Now, not all games support keyboard and mouse. One, game, one popular game it does is Fortnite. So let's go ahead and test it with that. All right, so you're gonna wanna plug in your keyboard onto the PlayStation 4. For me, I'm gonna use my USB switcher to switch to the PlayStation 4. As you can see here, I press a button and this will now connect my keyboard and mouse to the PlayStation 4. You see here that the keyboard is detected on the PlayStation. You're gonna wanna go ahead and click the X button on your keyboard. All right, so here's a true test to see if the firmware update fixed the Alloy FPS Pro to work on the PlayStation 4. We're gonna go ahead